Podcast. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another episode of Dumpster Diving. Guys, do I have something already amazing to share with you? So we are at Bed Bath & Beyond. And first of all, let me just start by apologizing. I didn't film what I'm getting ready to show you, and I'll explain why in just a second. But um, this is Bed Bath & Beyond. Let me just show you what's inside of my trunk right now. Guys, check this out. We literally found 17 boxes of these knife sets 21 piece there are two different two different styles really and a george foreman girl yep. oh, okay i didn't realize i found that did i hand you that and i didn't even realize it yep. oh anyway but we found 17 boxes two different styles of these knife sets and we're like completely baffled didn't film it because when you find this amount of stuff you don't want to get caught and then like sometimes i'll make you throw the stuff back so usually don't get caught over here but i didn't want to take the risk so found an amazing amazing haul already there is like nine or ten right here inside of my back seat there is a bunch more there's like one two three four Four, five, six, seven, eight. There's another one down there on the floor. Starting the episode off with a huge haul already. Like I said, one more time, apologize. I didn't film, but I just didn't want to get caught. I wanted to make sure everything was inside of my car, all safe and sound before I started filming. Um, sometimes they really will, like police will make you just throw the stuff back, which really, really sucks. As you can see, they did spray paint the boxes a little bit and some of the ones that we went through they kind of just shot a little squirt inside of there which hopefully we can use um this stuff called like crud cutter and it should take this stuff right off like extremely easily hopefully i mean it's really not that bad at all it should come right off guys but the knives are perfectly fine. yeah the knives are like brand spanking new I have no idea, guys. If you if you know, if you guys dumpster dive, um, I'm sure a lot of you do who watch my videos. Drop a comment if you found these. I have no idea. We chucked already before we started filming for like a recall. Absolutely nothing. So drop a comment down below if you know why. Um, Nicole thinks that possibly they were just like a Black Friday deal and they don't really sell them. So they just threw them in the trash. I have no idea. With that being said, tonight, like once we find all this stuff here, like we got to go to different ones. So I think there's like... I think there's like three, maybe four different Bed Bath & Beyonds within like 50 miles or 60 miles of our house. So we're gonna go to every single one of them and see if they threw out the same ones. If they did, it's going to be insane. If they didn't, it's okay. I'm just still curious. I, I can't like help the curiosity of knowing if they threw tons of these out in every single Bed Bath & Beyond around me. That's gonna be the, uh, the video tonight. We're gonna go to a bunch of different Bed Bath & Beyonds and maybe a few other places just to take a quick little peek. So anyway, if you guys are new here, please make sure you guys subscribe subscribe and I will see you at the next place all right next stop we are at Sally Beauty Supply this dumpster is packed is that full of stuff yeah. holy cow oh shoot yeah yeah be careful you got it all right so we got a bag right off the bat let's check around I'm gonna check real quick over here something you got more stuff in there all right I'll be right over there she found another bag there's nothing on this side let's go see what's inside the bags thing I pulled out of this bag is two pieces of makeup this one's actually never been opened and then we got a cover-up so I got a box next to me let's see what else we got in here there's some like trash mixed in oh, is this not oh no they cut it still take it yeah it's a crimper so we got a crimper, um, coconut oil, I guess it's for anything, your body or your hair, got a brush, a little bristle brush, Ooh, a lot of stuff in there, oh yeah, a ton of makeup, here's a foundation, here's another foundation, this is a eyeshadow primer, I got a cover up stick, Double buttercream, rich daily moisturizer. There's like a ton of makeup in here. Nail polishes again. Look at all these nail polishes, and they reduced them down to 49 cents and 79 cents. Yeah, this is like their brand, Sally Girl and stuff. We got a real color makeup setting spray. That's actually, it looks like it's like a hairspray, honestly. What else do we got? Oh, Essie. That's a really pretty color. Like a really pretty white. A couple more nail polishes. What is this? 
Oh, this is all dried out, but it's a glitter liquid eyeliner. And we got another one. And we got some more makeup. Looks like this is an eyeshadow. So there's a ton of stuff from like their clearance section. Got some more makeup. A ton of makeup in here. A ton of lip products and foundations. And this one's missing a cap, but this is a eyeliner. One of these. Got a moisture blend oil. This is multi benefit styling cream and semi permanent hair color in black. But I usually don't take the hair colors, but we got this stuff right here. Okay, so that's that bag. Go on to this bag. There is a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so we have a bonnet. Hair bonnet? Yeah. This is a temporary color highlight spray. There's a ton of stuff in here. More makeup in here, too. Okay, all right, let's see. We got one of these. I thought it was reduced to $12.99. Here's like another one. And, oh, no, here's a hairbrush. But this is a cord to something in here. Got some more hair colors. And this is like a uh, lavender cream, so it's, I guess it's like a lavender color. Got some more hair color. Another hair color. Ton of hair colors. What is this? Oh, this is lightener for like when you dye your hair. Oh. This is like what I use in my hair. Oh. Um, what else? We got, we got some attachments. Oh, oh a razor. This is like really heavy beauty. See how it's heavy a, that oh is. Oh god, that's really heavy. That's nice. That is nice. Okay, so we'll definitely take that. Um, oh, look at this little BioTerra travel set. These are actually expensive, too. Oh, here's that cord for this. It's another one of these. Yeah, just, just hang on to all of them. I'll fix them up. Yeah. Get this trash out of the way. Mm. That's for our nail polish. Oh, okay. And we got some more makeup in here. Some nail polish. Some gel eyeliner. Look how, how cheap they reduced everything down. $199, $179. Okay. Oh, what is this? Moisturizing shampoo. Hmm. Silk elements. Got a ton of more makeup products. Let's see, what else can I grab in here? So a ton of more makeup and nail polishes. A lot of lip products this time. So this is probably stuff that they just had sitting on the bench. God knows how long. Here's some more, some cover-up, more eyeshadow stuff. What is this? this is a leave-in conditioner. It's actually kind of halfway gone, but still taking that. Got another little eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. Oh, hair curl. Styling curl. So that is pretty much it at Sally's Beauty Supply, and I'm quite surprised we actually found some stuff because we barely find stuff from them now. But like I said, we have a ton of makeup stuff, some hair stuff, got some more of like these little tools. But yeah, that's everything from Sally's. Okay guys, we are at number two Bed Bath & Beyond. This is freaking un believable guys once again we just got a little bit of a head start or actually a, a lot of head starters like one more thing and one more thing left inside of here this is freaking unreal i just want to pull everything out so we're not hanging out here for like an hour but of course we're going to go over everything with you i think this is a, uh some kind of i don't know it says broken looks like it was marked down this is one of those really nice fans cool i think we found like a taller version of this before Guys, this is insane. Look at all this stuff. Oh no, there's another one right there. They're both the same. Uh, is there? Yeah, because that is the Vornado, and I think the yeah, that one is good. too. Guys, like I said, though, look at all this stuff. This is literally, look at the tree too. Oh, by the way, first Christmas tree of the year. I told you we were gonna find one. That one was $70, yeah. $69.99. Unfreaking real. This probably like, Two grand worth of stuff, at least 1500 bucks worth of stuff, just right here. But literally is 
no knife sets. I don't know, it's just at one place. I have no idea why. But anyway, Nicole's gonna quickly go over everything that we just found with you. First off, we have a double garment rack, which is really neat because you guys can see there's a taller piece and then it's connected to a shorter piece. So you have double the space to hang your clothes. So I definitely like that. Don't know how much it is though, unfortunately. And then like I said, we have this Renando whole room circulator. It was $49.99, marked down to $24.99. Moves air up to 75 feet, three speed settings, quiet operation, metal level lever control. So this is really nice. These are really nice fans too. Then we have another one, and this is a small room tower heater. So we actually found two really big ones that were actually fans, so definitely like that. Hopefully this works. This would be good to put in our office. Next off, we have this really cute, like, little light-up canister set. It's of, like, a little, I think that's called a, what is it, a robin or a cardinal? That's a cardinal. Cardinal. And it was $19.99 for that. And, like I said, oh, they're hurricanes. Hand-painted hurricanes. And they don't sound like they're broken either, so hopefully they aren't. Open it up real quick. Oh, yeah, let's take a peek. If it, if it is broken, I'll just throw it right back in. I don't know. Oh, Nothing look how wrong. pretty. And look, it's like 3D kind of feeling. That's really nice. That's really pretty. I wonder why I was thrown out. Huh. Then next off, we have this adorable Heritage Home Holiday handcrafted snowman. And it has little lights, and this was $19.99 for that. Cute That's little cool. thing. And then this is neat. It's a row antenna. Ronetta. Like Ronetta. Ronetta. <laughs> Something like that. It is. I don't know. It's. It's a exactly. humidifier. Is it? Yeah, I think it's a humidifier. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Aqua Perfect, perfect humidity for optimal comfort, and it's got a controller. It's got a clock. The temperature. How much was that? I don't know. I didn't see a price, honestly. No, I don't see one, but this is definitely probably over a hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Then this is actually really neat. It is a lid made. It's a lid organizer. So you put it in your cabinet and you stick your lids in there and you can just pull it out, which that's actually a pretty smart idea to have because huh. I usually just toss our lids. Then we have a really nice scale and I think this is carbon fiber. Yeah, that looks like carbon fiber. Yeah. That's really cool. It's really nice. Just got to probably pop a new battery in it. No big deal. On to the next section. We have this really nice toilet paper holder. It's a nice bronze finish. And then this bag, it just looks like it's a ton of random things. Yeah, it's just a bunch of random, random stuff. We got some candlesticks, $19.99 for a pair. $20 for candlesticks? Yeah, they're actually really pretty too. There's a bunch of them in there too. Yeah. So here's another one. Huh. Like two of them. Then we have... Oh, dental center. You keep your toothbrush and your toothpaste in there. Oh, cool. That is really neat. What else do we have? Something in there. Oh, we've been needing one of these. Is that a thermometer? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Digital thermometer. We seriously been talking about buying one. Yeah. Um, looks like it's a pair of socks. They look really comfy, too. Just one sock. <laughs> one sock. Really? Yeah. Um, what is this? Oh, it's for your faucets. Oh, it's a loomy sink. sink. Remember I bought like the cheaper ones? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. What is that, $10? Yeah, $10. Remember we found all those loomy bowls? Oh, like, yeah. Like last, last year? Last yeah, summer? last, something like that. Those are really cool. Um, not really sure what I this is. I think those are for, um... Sponges? Yeah, put your sponges on. Yeah, I guess so. Um... Oh, uh... Oh, shoot. Foster. Nicole, those are expensive. Yeah, a water flosser. Wow. So that's this nice. Is it damaged packaging? Probably. This is awesome. Oh, um, what else we got? Oh, here's the other sock. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's the other sock. Whoa, check these out. Pyrex. Oh, that is nice. What the heck? It's a set of three measuring cups. I mean, that one's a little scraped up. It's got some cracks in it, but these two are fine. I like how they're slanted. Yeah, so you can actually see. Yeah. This one's a little backed up, though. Yeah. That's all right, though. All right, it looks like you got a, was that a placemat or something? I don't know. A scarf? Or, what is that? Oh, it's a dog sweater. Oh, oh. my God, a dog. 
No way. It's Ugg. Oh, this will fit Maya. It's, it's an Ugg dog sweater. I just gotta sew it up right here. See, the stitching yeah. kind of came undone. That's freaking sick. I didn't know they, oh look, and there's a spot for the leash. I think that's it in this bag. Yeah, that's everything in this bag. The last three things we have. We have this adorable little like snowman. It's a toilet seat cover. And then his body. Isn't that cute? I guess this that goes around the really, toilet. really, really cool. That is adorable. <laughs> That'll be, oh, there's a price on it too. $19.99. That's actually not that bad for no, that. It's got a little no. stain there. Yeah, I just gotta wash that up. No big deal. Yeah. Then we have a really big aero bed. I can't believe we found that because those things are super expensive. And most of the time they're usually fine when we find them. Yeah. It's like someone just uses it once. Right. But this is definitely probably like a queen size Nothing wrong is what that. it's looking like. And then the last thing that we have is this really nice five foot Christmas tree. It's a potted tree so it is an outdoor tree. It was $70 and I love how it's got like the branches with the pine cones and it's kind of got like a frosted how do you call that flocked kind of look to it so there you have it this is everything from spot number two we're gonna go to at least one or two more i haven't figured it out yet but this is freaking insane all of this stuff the whole car is already packed full of stuff so i have no idea how we're gonna fit anymore but we're gonna definitely try our best but anyway spot number two we're gonna go ahead and pack this stuff up because we've already outstayed our welcome here and we'll see you at the next one we are at our third Bed Bath & Beyond. Wish us luck. And... No, I don't think there is. You don't see any mm -hmm. knife sets, do you? No. I see something down there, though. It looks like um one of those Tassimo coffee makers, maybe? Maybe. Oh, well, that might be worth jumping in for. Shoot. What the heck, Nicole? What's, why did we find all of those knife sets at that one place? I have no clue. Guys, this is crazy. Like Friday deal? I have no idea. So, I don't know. I have no idea. I think I'm, I'm going to at least jump in here and try to see what that is. It looks like a coffee maker from here. Maybe a couple other things in here. Let me jump in here. All right, made it inside. Let's see what this is. Yup. Oh, it's a display unit. I wonder if it's functional though. Huh. Yeah, no, that's no good. No water tank or anything. Yeah. Found a couple of these before. Oh no, this is the Ver. Did I say Verissima before? I think I did. I don't know. This is the Verissima. But, uh, yeah, that's the Starbucks one. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, you really can't do anything with that though. Oh well. Alright. What's over here? What's in this box? Nothing. Nothing. Trash. Hmm, maybe something's in here? Oh. Huh. Sounds broken. Yeah, it does sound broken. Oh yeah, the tag says broken glass. Kind of curious what it is anyway. It's a broken vase. Yeah. Ooh, hold on, what's this? Oh, they cut it up. That was a pretty nice mat too. That sucks. Check that out, guys. Holy crap, they did. They cut that all the way to a dollar ninety-nine. The price. And no one bought it. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, sadly, unfortunately, we drove all the way out here, but oh well, that's the name of the game, but there's absolutely nothing in here. All right, guys, I'm just pulling up to the fourth in the final Bed Bath Beyond, and unfortunately, 
as you can see there's a freaking lock on this dumpster the first bed bath and beyond i've ever seen that has a lock on it this won't even move there's a lock on the other side on the top there's a lock on this and then there's a lock on, on the other door on the other side as well so unfortunately i can't get in here i know some people say well maybe you could squeeze in now i'm not gonna even try it's not even worth it so obviously they don't want people in there anyway this is gonna be the last stop we've already been to four places and we stopped at a few places off camera that were just completely empty but we found some amazing amazing stuff probably like four or five grand worth of stuff tonight which is flipping insane thank you guys so much for hanging out if you guys are new here please make sure you hit that subscribe button and we will see you guys next time